to show you how you can make a bracelet um, in Fluid Designer, which is part of Blender. Um, so first of all, I'm going to set select a, an outline um, curve. This is just a NURBS curve. I'm just going to remove the bevel object from it. So that's a 70 millimeter NURBS curve. And if I just make a, uh, uh, a duplicate of that, so the top part of my bracelet, um, what I'm going to do is to I'm going to use this Enipa pattern which I have on my system, and uh, the Enipa pattern has basically got uh, a default some default sizes, and the default inner diameter of all of them on my system is uh, 65 millimeters. So I'm going to set it to this new bracelet size of 70 millimeters. Um, now the modifiers that are here, and there's an array modifier, so if I just set the count down to one. There's my basic Enipa curve pattern, and um, if I set that to a count of 17, it will almost complete my curve here. And obviously, if I just change the uh, relative offset here to 0.2 and then 0.3, um, I can complete the pattern all the way around. And obviously, you can set any sort of pattern you want there. Um, now, what I want to do is to set uh, add some bevel object now. So I have some special bevel objects which are in the 3D templates folder and these are special objects for bracelets and also rings and I'm going to set this select this rectangular bevel object and just click and that just places it in the center of the screen and I know that that bevel object the default size is one by one but I could actually set it to any size so I'm going to set the top of my curve to that bevel object there uh, which as I say is one by one and if I just go to view in front now um, if I just zoom in and switch off the snap, what I must do is make sure that the top of uh, my bracelet is overlapping with the Enipa curve itself, which it is now. And then what I'm going to do is to make a duplicate of that. And if I just go over to the transform panel and change the Z value to a minus value, I'll replicate that at the bottom. Now my Enipa curve there has not got the same bevel object as the top and bottom of my uh, bracelet at the moment so if I just change the bevel object to the same bevel cross section which is as I say was one by one that will uh, change it so that the top bottom and the middle are all one by one now but there is an issue here that it's not quite in the right position it's a little bit on the inside there and what you've always got to do here is just go to view and top view go into edit mode this is with the curve at the center and essentially you've just got to move this up so that's in line with the x-axis and the best way to do that is to go to the transform panel and uh, I'm going to type in one millimeter that's basically the thickness of it so that's exactly in line now with the x-axis and that will now be exactly in line with the top and the bottom of the bracelet so that's how quick and easy it is to actually create a bracelet if you export that now as an OBJ file run it through NetFab Basic um, what you can then do, I mean, I printed this on an FDM printer in, in, in uh, PLO Plastic, but you could also upload it to ShapeBase if you like what you've got and get it printed in metal. So that's how easy it is in uh, Fluid Designer for 3D printing, uh, which is a Blender application template. Thank you.